folks, how's it going today? Thump, the Merrimack Valley Fisherman out of the northern Merrimack Valley Pond. I'm going to show you all how to get your ice traps in the water, sound the depth so you know how deep you're uh, fishing, and make sure there's no uh, crap at the top of your hole, like icy skim or anything that can wreck your line. As you can see, I drilled a 7 inch hole here with my auger. I'm going to take what you call a skimmer. I'm going to get all the excess slush and stuff out because the, the less you have in there, the, the less chance your, hat, your hole has of freezing. And uh, having a frozen hole, that's not a good way to catch fish. All right, I got that skimmed out fairly well. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my trap all ready here. I'm going to make sure that the, that the spool or the drag, whatever you have on your trap, is nice and loose, if not frozen like this one, so that a bass can run with it. I'm going to take what you call a sounder. Basically, it's just a weight. As you can see, this is a two ounce sounder and it's got springs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the hook through it. Just like that. Now it won't be able to go anywhere and I'm going to drop it right down the hole and I'm going to gauge the depth, see how deep it is here. Perfect depth for bass, probably about 10 feet or so. I'm going to take my button, move it down a little bit. And I'm going to take my spool up about a foot and a half or two feet because you don't want to be in any weeds in the bottom. It's always easier for a fish to come up and get a bait than it is to go down and get it. So I'm going to set my button right there. So I know when the button moves, something's had my bait. So I'm going to pull the weight right back out of the water here, your sounder. And I'm going to un unspring it, as they say. I'm going to go over to the old bait bucket here. Pick up a nice lively shiner. Here's your average pond shiner here, okay. I'm gonna hook it right through the back of the dorsal fin, underneath it, right where the spine is. See, it's not going anywhere. All right, I'm gonna pop it right down in there. Hopefully it'll swim through the skim. Once the weight gets down there, it'll just take off. There we go, taking off. Now I'm just gonna feed the line through. Let the fish kind of swim away. Swim fishy, come on. I might have to skim a little more there. Come on fishy, swim away. Swim in the skim. Ugh, so much slush around these holes. There we go. He's swimming now, I hope. I'm hoping he's swimming now. You want to feed him down until you get your button right at the top there, and you're going to know that's the depth you want to be at. So I'm feeding the line right down through the hole here. See, I got my button right at the top there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my flag down so the mechanism will work. Put it into the hole just like that and hope for a bass to come, all right? This has been Thump, the Merrimack Valley Fisherman. Uh, catch me every Tuesday morning, 10, 15 a.m., 980 WCAP Lowell. Take it easy.